Hi, Ms. Burns here from Washington Avenue Library. Today what I'd like you to do is to show you how to check out a book. So when you log into the computer, this is going to be my screen computer. You can only check in and check out books once I've logged into a computer. It looks a little different than if you guys went to Destiny at home or in school on your own. So to check out a book, you have to go over to Circulation in the top navigation. So you start at home and it's the fourth one over. One, two, three, four. You click on circulation and you're going to go to check out. Most of the time it might look like this for a person's name. What I want to do is show you how to find a name through Homeroom. It's a little faster and easier for checkout. So over to the side, I'll click buy Homeroom and I'm going to do mine. For example, I put myself in room 129. I click this little bluish button here. It says select patron. A patron is just a person who uses the library. So I click there and it shows all the people that are in room 129. We don't have a home room 129, so that's why it's just me. I'll click on my name and then it comes up my name, how many books I have, if I owe anything and things like that. What you're going to do next is you have to scan your book. So before from our check-in book, I wanted to show you our books right here. So you have to need to find the barcode. And if we remember, if we look inside the front cover, there could be a barcode right there. Or you could take a book and it might be on the back cover, at the top of the back cover. So the barcode you're looking for is going to be inside front cover or top back cover. It's not the one down here. That's the one we use when we buy a book. All right, so I'm going to scan it in and the number's going to pop up. And this one had a note, those notes don't usually matter. And then it's going to say my name. It's going to say checked out and the book that it is. You want to make sure that you see your name on the screen and that you see the book that you're taking out. If it's not that book, you need to tell me so we can correct it. We don't want to have a wrong book checked out to you because then we'll think that you have it and you lost it or didn't bring it back. So make sure it says your name and the book. Now when you're done, you need to go back up and hit select patron because that'll take you back to the main screen. So if I want to go to another homeroom, I'm going to pick Mr. Rios's class 128 because it's right next to 129. And there's going to be a lot of names up. So you're going to have to click on your name. Remember, just like the authors in the library, it starts with last name, alphabetical order. So I'm going to click on Emily here, Moraldi. It says it shows her name and that she has a book checked out. Let's say we want to put another book to her name. I'm going to do the Life of a Mayflower. Inside front cover, in goes the number. It'll show the books that she has checked out under her name. So for the next person to do it, we need to make sure it goes back to the other names because we don't want every book to be checked out under her name. We click Select Patron. We're back to normal and you check for your name. So that's all you have to do is under homeroom, click your homeroom number. If you don't see it, scroll down, click your room number, find your name, scan your book. Three easy steps. Okay, so now you guys can check out your own books when you're in the library for class or in the mornings or after school. See you in the library.